e-learning with NUT Endo Mother Science School, MENA. <laughs> Modern Science School. Good day, all. I'm happy to meet you. Today, I will be taking you the subject area of numeracy. The topic is world problems involving perimeter of a rectangle. World problems involving perimeter of a rectangle. Now you can see the rectangle before you. Okay. The rectangle is having the length and the breadth, isn't it? Now, before then, we need to get the formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle before we can now involve ourselves in the word problems. Now, quickly, the formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle is two open brackets, length plus breadth. That is, perimeter P is equal to two open brackets, length plus breadth. The length, the symbol of the length is the L. So L signifies length, while B signifies breadth. So whenever you come across P equal to two open bracket, L plus B close bracket, that is the formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle. I repeat, the formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle is perimeter P is equal to two open brackets length which is l plus breadth b close bracket that is the formula now example if the perimeter of a rectangle is 20 centimeter if the perimeter of a rectangle is 20 centimeter find the length of the rectangle if the breadth is 2 centimeter I repeat, if the perimeter of a rectangle is 20 cm, find the length of the rectangle if the breadth is 2 cm. That is, the perimeter is 20 cm. The length is unknown because say we should find the length. We don't know the length of the rectangle. But the breadth is given as 2 cm. So before you start working this question, you have to bring out your data, your parameters. What I mean by the parameters? Those value given in the question. The value of perimeter is given P equal to 20 centimeter. The value of P, which is the perimeter, is 20 centimeter. The value of breadth in the question there is 2 centimeters B. So you bring it out, say P equal to 20 centimeter. B equals to 2 cm, while the length is unknown. Now, let's see. Solution. Perimeter is equal to 20 cm. Perimeter is equal to 20 cm from the question. The breadth is 2 cm. 2 cm. The breadth is 2 cm, while the length is unknown. We don't know the value of the length. And we are asked to find... The length of the rectangle. Now, from the formula given to you, recall the formula. The formula is P equal to two open brackets L plus B. That is, perimeter is equal to two open brackets length plus breadth. Now, here is the formula. From P, the P signifies perimeter. Is equal to two open bracket. The L is the length of the perimeter plus breadth that is the b in that formula now we are going to substitute the value given into the formula so whenever you come across p you substitute p for 20 that is 20 will now represent p b will now and two centimeter will now represent b why the length is unknown all right now let's have it now we can see 20 is equal to 2 open brackets. The length is not given. That is why we still have our length. 
L. You bring back the length, it's not giving. So you bring back the alphabet L back to the formula. Plus the breadth is two centimeter. That is why you're having the two over there. That is why we have two twenty is equal to two open bracket L plus two. The twenty is the value of the perimeter. The two is already in is in the formula already. Now L is not given. That is why I see seeing A appearing. Plus two is the value of the breadth. Now twenty is equal to bracket here means times. For you to be able to open that bracket, you need to multiply the value of two to the length and also multiply the value of two to the breadth. That is the two outside the bracket. We multiply everything inside the bracket individually. Two we multiply length plus the two outside. We also multiply the two inside. That's why we're having two times two. Two times L plus two times two. Twenty is equal to two times L. We have two L. Two multiplied by L is what? Two L plus two times two. We have four. Two times two is. Four. So therefore, we have 20 is equal to 2L plus 4. 2L plus 4. Now, when you look at the right-hand side of the equation or the expression, you observe that one of the numbers is carrying L. That is the 2 is having L, isn't it? And the 4 is not having any alphabet. Now, at the left-hand side of the equation, you can see you have 20, isn't it? You have 20. Now, you are going to collect those ones that does not have letters. Those numbers without alphabet, you collect them at the left-hand side of the equation. That is, collect like times. You collect like times. Now, the plus 4, we cross over. We cross the sign of equal to. Now, when a value is crossing the sign of equal to, and that value is positive or plus, it will change to minus. But if it's minus, crossing equal sign, it will change to plus. So, therefore, when plus 4 will be crossing equal sign, it will change to minus 4. So, we have 20 minus 4 is equal to 2L. 20 minus 4 is equal to 2a. The plus 20 has crossed over the equal sign. That is why it has changed to minus sign. That is why you are having 20 minus 4, not plus 4, because of the equal sign, the plus have um, crossed over. So we have 20 minus 4 is equal to 2l. Now, 20 minus 4, when you take away 4 from 20, you have 16. 16 equal to 2L. 16 equal to 2L. So 16 equal to 2L. Now when you look at this very well, we observe that at the right hand side of the expression, we have 2L. And the left hand side, we have 16. And we are asked to find the length. The L stands for the length, isn't it? And we are asked to find the length. So we are going to divide both sides by the number that is with the alphabet, which is 2. 2 is together with the alphabet, so we divide both sides by 2. That is the reason why we are dividing both sides by 2, not by 3, not by 4, because 2 is the number that is together with the alphabet that we are looking for, which is the length, L. So when we say divide both sides by 2, 16 divided by 2, you divide 16 by 2, and also divide 2L by 2. That's why we have 16 over 2 is equal to 2L over 2. Now, when you divide 2L over 2, the 2 up, that is the numerator, and the 2 down at the denominator, the 2 will cancel the 2. When we have the same value, if the numerator and the denominator are the same, they will cancel each other. So you are, you are, now you are left with L at the right-hand side of the equation. When you look at the right-hand side, you have 2L over L. So the 2 that is together with the L will cancel the 2 that is under. So you are left with L. 
So L will be equal to 8 centimeter because 16 divided by 2 is 8. When you have your two skittles and you shared 16 beads, each of the skittles is going to have 8, 8 beads. So 16 divided by 2 is what? 8 centimeter. Mind you that the length is being measured by centimeter. Because the value is given in centimeter, that is why our answer is having centimeters. So therefore, the length of the rectangle is 8 centimeter. 8 centimeter. I repeat, let's go back. Let's go back. All right. Let's go back to the example. The example again, you say if the perimeter of a rectangle is 20 centimeter, Find the length of the rectangle if the breadth is 2 cm. We have the perimeter is 20, the breadth is 2 cm, the length is unknown. That's why I have the question mark there. Now, therefore, the formula is P equals to 2 open bracket L plus B. You substitute the value. Now, the perimeter is 20, the 2 is already is in the question, is in the formula already. The L is not given, that's why we are seeing the L plus 2. 2 is the perimeter. So we open the bracket now by multiplying. Or the two that is outside multiply to the individual value inside the bracket. So two times L plus two times two. So we have two twenty equals to two times L is two L plus two times two is four. So when you collect like times here, we are going to have twenty minus four because the plus sign will cross equal sign. That is the plus four. When you cross equal sign, change to minus four. That's why we're having twenty minus four there equals to two L. Now, 20 minus 4 is equal to 16, equal to 2a. You now divide both sides by 2 because 2 is together with what we are looking for, which is the length. So when you divide both sides by 2, 2a divided by 2, 16 divided by 2. So 2 multiply, um, 2 divided by 2, it will go off. That is, 2 will cancel 2, okay, which is 1. 2 divided by 2, 1. 1 times l will still give you back the l. When 2 divided by 2 is 1. Whenever a number divided itself is 1. So 1 multiplied by the L, that's why we have that's why we are having the L there, isn't it? Now, since 16 divided by 2, that is, you have your two ski to share 16 bits, you are going to have 8 bits each, isn't it? So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So therefore, the length of the right angle is 8 centimeter. It's 8 centimeter. All right. Now, homework. Write down the formula for calculating perimeter of a rectangle. So you complete it of a rectangle. Write down the formula for calculating perimeter of a rectangle. Two, if the perimeter of a door is 30 centimeter, calculate the length of the door if the breadth is 3 centimeter. If the perimeter of a door is 30 centimeter, calculate the length of the door if the breadth is 3 cm. So, you are going to... The, the shape of the door is a rectangle. Alright? So, you are going to calculate the length of the rectangle. The perimeter is given and the breadth is given. Thank you.